In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Canon PIXMA TS3420. I'll show you how to install the ink, load the paper, connect to a computer, and even how to use the scanner. So let's get started. Well, before starting, you need to remove all this orange tape that is attached to the printer. There is two in the front and there is also on the back of the printer, two of them. Now take the power cable that came in the box and connect it in the back of the printer, right over there. The first step is to turn on the Canon printer. Then you'll need to remove this orange label over here and make sure that you never touch with your finger this print head and don't touch the contacts over here as well. So now the next step is to put it inside. To do so, we'll need to go in this area. Once you're here, you're gonna see a small door over here that we need to open. You just need to pinch this lever and pull the door down. This way you'll have over here the ink cartridge placement. Here the left side is for the color and the right side is for the black cartridge. So you just have to glide it. I like to hold it this way with my thumb and my index. Glide it inside of the slot and then push it with your thumb. And finally, you just have to put this blue release holder here up. With your thumb, it's easier. You just have to push up this time. This way, the cartridge will stay secured inside of the printer. And we'll do the same thing for the black cartridge. Lower this. Take it. Don't forget to remove the orange um, protector and simply glide it, push it with your thumb, okay? And even if it's loose like this, it's okay, don't worry. You just have to put this blue holder on and it will keep it in place and it won't jiggle anymore. Once you're done, you just have to put this door back in the position, just push it, and the printer will take the ink you may hear some noises, this is perfectly normal. It's the first time the printer gets the ink. It will simply set up the ink itself. The first step is to locate this small trap over here on the top of the printer and you need to put it up. You just need to swing it this way. You'll notice that there is a blue piece over here you need to push it all the way to the left side. You can use your finger and just push it this way. If you want to print on smaller paper, you will be able to slide it on the right side and depending how large is your paper, you'll need to adjust it. But this, this time we're just printing on a normal piece of paper. So we just need to push it this way. The next step is to take your uh, stack of paper, if you have many, align them and then you're going to glide it this way and let it go. I just want to show you a close up here. So you're going to take it and the paper needs to go through this blue uh, retainer here like this. And you can push it till you feel a resistance. Before printing, you have to extend this section of the printer. You just have to push it out like this, slide it out. And then there is also this small flip thing. You just need to swing it open. So the first thing we need to do is to go on the computer itself. And from here, we'll go on the Canon site where we'll be able to download a software to connect both of these. I'll put a link in the description where you can go directly in the page I'm showing you because uh, it's quite long to type this manually. Once you're on this page, you're gonna tap on B, connect to a computer or smartphone. Then it will ask you to download the Canon software. 
simply press the download orange button and it will start downloading the file on your computer. Then you're going to open the file that we just downloaded. Then you're going to press yes. It will install the software. Once it opens, you're going to click on start setup. Then next next and now you just have to let it do its thing it should take just a few seconds it will download the last driver and software that you need to make this work then you'll have this screen you need to tap on yes then agree and at this point just make sure that your printer has been previously turned on and here it will ask you if you want to connect the printer to your home wireless network or your business or office wireless wireless network which is the same as your PC is connected. Tap on yes if it's your wireless network appearing over here. This is mine. This step may take a few seconds or even a minute while the printer is connecting to internet. And at the end, you should have this screen with the green check mark. This means that the printer is now officially connected to the internet of your home or office. Then press next. And now it will take a few seconds again to install drivers that will make the Canon printer work with your uh, specific PC computer. You have here a small estimate telling you how much time it will take. In my case, it's two minutes. Maybe yours is faster if you have a faster computer. The screen will change and again you just have to wait while this spinner is going on. And again we'll have this confirmation that you are now able to print from your computer with a green check mark. This is great. I'm going to press the next button. And we are finally done. You can continue online here to visit the Canon website, but you really don't need to do this. The next step is to go over here where it's uh, where is the Windows logo and the start menu. Press once on it. Then go over here in settings, press on it. The settings of your Windows computer will open up, then press on devices. And here you're going to click on printers and scanners on the left side. Then we're going to add this printer by clicking this plus sign. And now it will search for new printers. And here we go. This is our printer, the TS3400. Mine is the 3420, but it's the same thing really. So you're going to click on it. And then you should see add device. You're going to click on this button and it will add it to your computer. This way it will be able to print. It will say connecting. So it will try to connect to the printer. It may take again a few seconds. And at the end, to confirm, it will say ready. This means that we're finally done connecting this computer to the printer and we're ready to print. 
Now before starting printer again just make sure you have paper and this paper tray is open. Now depending what you want to print in my case let's say I have a document and I want to print it from Word. I'm going to go in file and choose print but if it's a picture in your case you can always do Control P once you open the picture and a menu will open up. The menu should look very similar than the one that you're seeing right now on the screen. And you always have a preview to make sure that this is what you want to print. So over here under printer, make sure that the Canon TS3400 series is selected. If it's not the printer, just click on it and you'll have a drop down menu with other printers. Just have, you just have to select it from the list. And then you're going to modify the settings here, depending what you want, how many pages, if you want a specific page, let's say in my case, I just want the page number one. So I'll just type one over here. And when you're ready, you're going to print by clicking the print button. It will take just a few seconds and the Canon printer will take the page from the feeder. So this is how you connect your PC computer to your Canon TS3420 if you want to connect it and print wirelessly. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Canon print app. This is available on the Play Store and also on the App Store. It should look like this, Canon Print Inkjet slash Selfie app from Canon Inc. Download it and then open the app. Next step is to connect the printer, make sure that it's turned on. And then on the bottom here, you're gonna click on whatever printer it is. If you don't see anything, no problem, click on the top left corner, there's a small icon of a printer, tap on it. And here it will tell you to register a printer. You're gonna go down, tap on register printer, and here you're gonna have a list of all the printer the app found that are around. I'm lucky my printer is over here, TS3400 series. It's a 3420 in my case, but it's the absolute same thing. If you see it, you just have to tap on it. But what if you don't see it in the list? No problem. What you'll need to do is to tap over here if printer cannot be found. Then you're going to tap on auto connection. And here it will tell you to tap on a button that looks like this one, two ovals together. But don't do anything for the moment, just tap yes. And now it will tell you to press on that specific button, I'll show you in a second, during three seconds. On this Canon printer, this button is located on the top where it says wireless. You see under it, you see it's the button with two ovals overlapping. You need to keep it pressed during three seconds and release it after. Once you did this, go back to the app, tap this small square and press next. It will search again for your printer. And if you don't see it again, no problem, just go into your Wi-Fi settings where you can see all the Wi-Fi networks around you and in this list you should see the Canon printer appearing. Here we go, Canon TS3400, just click on it and then go back to the app. You'll get this message, set up Wi-Fi for the following printer, click OK. Okay, it will tell you that you'll be connected to this Wi-Fi network. Press yes if you agree. And then you should see appearing in the list here, 
tap on it and you're done it may ask you the password of your Wi-Fi network you just have to enter it and press continue or OK and then you'll have the same screen um, same screen as I, you see right now in my case I already did it in the past so it didn't ask me the password a second time then press close and now it asks you if you want to try printing an image or a file with it and this is what we'll do but not this way I'll show you how to do it another way you're gonna click on the X here click X2 they're just trying to sell you stuff and now in this main menu of the app this is uh, the menu you get when you open it every time you're gonna select if you want to print a document a picture or other things like uh, photo items I mean you don't need those honestly you're gonna just stick to those first ones at the same time you'll be able to scan from the app and also copy documents in this example I'll show you how to print a document I think this is the most common thing to do you're gonna select where is located the document mine is on my phone so I'll tap smartphone and now you need to locate where the document is actually on your phone it will show you the files in the camera but mine is not over here so I'll have to go somewhere else mines are in my documents let me print this this one so I'll just tap on it it's a PDF with two pages I'll press the next button and in here it will ask you which page you want to print I want to print both of them so I'll click on I will just leave it at all but if you want just one page well you can select here press OK it will just confirm you that it's the right size paper yes it's eight and a half by eleven this is what I have put over there in the feeder so it's fine and it's plain paper I'll press yes and if everything is fine you're gonna press on the print button and the printer will start printing right away lift the scan lid place your paper facing down and make sure to align this corner with the corner of the scanner over here there should be a small arrow pointing there so just place it like this by pushing it then you can close this lid and now you have two choices do you want to scan this in color or in black and white only here you have the two options if you want black and white press this button if you want color press this green button in my case I just wanted black and white so just have to press once and by the way before pressing make sure that this paper tray is fully extended to receive the paper like this press once the button and now you have to wait it will start by scanning take the paper and very quickly we have our page over here and if we compare it with the original one it's perfect it's just black and white because this is what I decided 